Hello everybody, welcome to Freedom Radio YouTube channel. Uh, another video, another how-to. So, we've got today, passenger pegs. Uh, mm, this is the foot bag, nice. Nice, quite white and black with a rubber, mm, lovely. And uh, we've got two of these, plus we also got uh, the box came a little bit mm, questionable, but actually everything looks like it's safe inside. So we've got a set of screws. We've got one thing which goes to the one side, and the other one which goes to the other side. I'm not sure how, we're gonna, how long it's going to take to do it, but I'm hoping it's not going to be a lot, although I've heard it might be a bit tricky to put that one. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be, but we're going to do it. Okay, right, so we're going to start with the, with the easy one on this side. So we need to unscrew this, this too. Yes. One, two. One, that's short. And the second one, which actually holds also this little unit. Screw this stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's this side looks pretty easy. Feels like it's pretty easy to do. So yeah, this right side is a bit more difficult. Uh, we'll see how long it's going to take us. First, the washer and uh, the brake fluid unit, and the take uh, we need to take that uh, exhaust pipe, heat shield. And then after that, we will fiddle with. Um, little tools just to get that um, little unit off. So the bit is T40 that we need and we slowly need to get that out. will be very time taking because I don't have a proper tools for that it's just uh, figuring out my own way yeah there we go it's going it's going it's going Yeah, we need a little bit more patience, have more patience to do that. Yeah, so that's a, that is free. So again, need a little bit more leverage. So I couldn't, I couldn't do that with no more Allen key. Yeah, finally we're there. We've got that out. Excellent. 
So now we've got these three mounting points. We need to remove that uh, cover, plastic cover that covers the um, one mounting point. And now let's see how it fits. Yeah, it looks like okay. Now I need to just check the screw where the thread is okay. And it'll be, yeah, that's nice and easy. Put some thread lock and to its position nicely, nice and tight. Actually for bottom I'm using the old screws, the original, for some reason they feel better. So it's quite fiddly to get that tools between that and the pipe. I'll be doing pretty well so far. So we're almost there, I'm very happy. It's very fiddly, very difficult actually. Not much space to work to. No, nice, nice and tight. And fit that little back. And it's now back together. Excellent. So now just prepare the heat shield. We're almost there. Afterwards, we need to clean it because of greasy hands and stuff. It took a lot of time to do that. So that's done, that's how it looks like at the end, perfect, lovely, very happy with it, nice and strong, excellent. Finally, took me about three hours. Three hours, can you believe it? But I'm happy with the result. And finally, I will be able to take my children with me for a little rides around the town. And perhaps, who knows, maybe a little further. But first, and to get used to together, you know, on a bike. And yes, I'm very happy. And 
my kids are also going to be very happy to see that they will be able to ride with me. Hey, <laughs> so um, I know it took up maybe I, I'm not sure whether that's that was uh, long or not, but three hours, decent time. However, I've managed to not to take off the exhaust system, exhaust pipes, uh, because that would you would have to take off and put the new gaskets and you know it just makes even more job i managed to do it without it where i'm very happy and uh, content yes so um if you like the video press that thumb up and uh, for coming videos the bell notification don't forget about that if you haven't if you haven't already subscribed forget to subscribe to my channel yeah thanks for your support guys thank you for watching and uh, stay safe ride safe be blessed and stay blessed and peace